Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a major haul. There is a couple of things that I've picked up within, I would say the past month or so. I have two Louis Vuitton pieces to unbox with you. I have something from Dior, from Prada and Faro. That's something new to me. So let's get started. <music> I meant to record this video last week, but I've been so crazy busy and um, even today I just literally just walk into the house. It was so cold this morning. I had this cardigan on uh, and now it's getting warm again. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I gather all those um, items that I want to show with you and kind of unbox uh, together. I have two Louis Vuitton pieces which I'm super excited about and uh, yeah before we do that uh, please click on the subscription button down below and give it a thumbs up this will really help me a lot and uh, welcome if you're new to my channel my name is Magdalena and I do all sorts of video about pretty much anything. <laughs> um, Alright, uh, one more thing before we proceed with the unboxings. You guys always ask me what lipstick I'm wearing, makeup, everything is um, in the description box, uh, box. I list everything in the description box so please click down below so you can see it. Very quickly I do have a Gucci lipstick on. Again, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys and um, the newest palette from Hourglass. This is amazing. So I just want to share this with you quickly. Let me just show you. Uh, I think it's already available for general public. public. I know it was available for the Rouge members for a while um, at Sephora, but anyway, that's what I have on today. Please check it out. It's really good. It will be linked down in the description box. All right, so what should we start with? Like I mentioned, I have two Louis Vuitton new items to show you, but I think I'm gonna start with the Prada. Let's do the Prada first, because I was super, super excited about this purchase. So um, these, this is obviously a pair of shoes, and when I saw them, I knew instantly this is exactly what I need in my wardrobe. So, um, yeah and you know the Prada is not cheap obviously so here is the tissue paper that is in the box so let me just kind of open it up quickly it does come with um, two dust bags so there's a little Prada logo in there these are like kind of like satiny dust bags honestly you guys I never used the dust bags for shoes unless you travel you know that's just something but anyway here are the shoes that I purchased, you guys. These are amazing. <laughs> these are the Prada loafers. Let me show you the proper way. There we go. These are so beautiful. They are just so perfect. They do come with the two different kind of sole. This one is more kind of like, um, I would say normal, smaller, and they do comes also in the very kind of a chunky, chunky, chunky sole that um, at first I thought I'm gonna get the one with the chunky sole, but then I thought, you know what? No, I'm just gonna go classic. So you guys, these shoes are so amazing. I already used them twice. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the soles are a little dirty, but I love them. They basically don't even need like any, you know, like, break in time or anything like that. They were so comfortable the moment I put my foot into them. Unbelievable. So obviously they come with this, um, the leather is a little shiny as you can see. And obviously, you know, there is this Prada logo plaque, the triangle. Um, they especially look nice with like a cropped kind of pants. So nice. So yeah, like I said, I use it twice already and I already get compliments because you know if you use those kind of cropped pants like everybody can see it but um, super comfortable it feels like they are way made very very well I do love Prada shoes 
I have quite a few pairs from Prada and it's always a hit. So yeah, these are so good and I feel like they're gonna just last me for quite a few seasons and I'm just looking forward to wear them even more now that we finally have, you know, slightly cooler weather and it's gonna get colder and colder, you know, and uh, oh, I'm just gonna, these are gonna be like my all fall and winter shoes for sure because, you know, we don't get much snow in here, but anyway. I'm super, super excited about those. I will link these exact same shoes down below and I will also link the one with the thicker bottom uh, if you wanna check it out. Uh, I'm gonna say one thing, I've got the size 39 in those and in Prada I'm usually between 39, 39 and a half. So they, I feel like they do run a little bit big. I went, I read, read the reviews because obviously I purchased it online and everybody told me just, everybody said just to size down a little bit. So I went with a 39 instead of the 39 and a half, which is my, you know, typical, 39 is typical European size for me. But in Prada, I'm usually 39 and a half, at least all the other shoes that I have. So um, yeah, but with these, I went for 39, which is um, between eight and a half and nine American uh, size. So just, just so you know. So the next item comes from Linda Farrell. And when I noticed these online, I just, I just had to have them. This is a pair of sunglasses and I feel like Linda Farrell becomes of the brand for the sunglasses. I feel like her designs, it's just unbelievable. If you go on her website, it's just, it's just stunning. I purchased this from Europe that came from Spain, you guys. It's so crazy. But anyway, um, the outside packaging was very nice and you know, with the gold um, logo. And this is all like a little velvet, like a black velvet. It kind of reminds me of those um, Gucci purple, you know, uh, sunglasses cases, very big. But this is just something that I just don't have it and it's completely like out of my comfort zones. <laughs> but I got these. Oh my god, these are so pretty. So these are like a white sunglasses with a little like a grommet, like a little hole, little detail in here. And I think they're called Mo. It says Mo in the middle, M-O-E. And of course in here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it says Linda Farrell right there. And I, these are just so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's, it's completely out of my comfort zone. I have never wear white sunglasses, but you know, it's like they're, they are retro. They give me this retro vibe, but you know, I love, wearing a lot of like white shirts, long sleeve shirts, you know, especially when the spring and fall kind of, that's kind of my vibe with the white long shirts, <laughs> like a button down shirts basically. And I thought they're just gonna look nice. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's just, like I said, it's completely out of my comfort zone or, you know, something that I would typically go for, but I just couldn't resist. I was like, I was thinking for like two days and I found them, I believe, on Farfetch. And they were like the last one. They came from Spain. <laughs> they shipped them from Spain. So yeah, I'm super excited, you know, especially, I know it's like we're going into fall, but still, you know, the spring and summer will come. Uh, there's also a bunch of, you know, little things like little cleaning cloth and there's some information there, by the way. So yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Is it nice? <sighs> Yeah, I love them. I do. It's it's completely something new. That's a new look for me, for sure. But, you know, hey, fashion is fashion, right? <laughs> All right, let's unbox Louis Vuitton. So I think we're gonna go with the smaller. Yeah, let's do the smaller one first. So it came in this box um, and I was after this item for, oh, I'm gonna say like over a year. It was nearly impossible to buy. And every time I am around in Louis Vuitton store, it's just never available. Online is always sold out. And one day I was just like, okay, let me check. And I click on it and it was there. So let me show you guys. So obviously it comes in the drawer kind of a box. And there is the item. So let me show you what I have. And I'll explain you why, why I got it. <laughs> Are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> 
So this is the Woody Glasses case. I think that's the proper name of this. So it is all um, beautiful red leather. It feels really luxurious, has this stunning microfiber kind of interior. It is like I mentioned, it is always sold out online. There's the usual, you know, Louis Vuitton paper. It says uh, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France right here on the bottom. And obviously it's a snap closure, so just snaps like so. It's a very slim, but very nice, it's just different, you know, a sun sunglasses or glasses case. You can really put anything in this. I'm pretty sure I could put my um, <laughs> Linda Farrow sunglasses in here. But the reason I got this, and I was so after this for a while, is because I currently got something from Dior. So let me just show you this very quickly, which comes in this box. And no, it's not a sunglasses. <laughs> I know that's what you guys are thinking, but no, I do wear a prescription glasses where I, when I have to like, um, you know, read and um, basically for teaching, you know, cause I'm, I'm blind. <laughs> I just cannot see. When I go around the house, when I drive, I don't wear glasses. Uh, but when I have to specifically, you know, do my job, I have to wear glasses. And um, for the past few years, I had my Chanel uh, prescription glasses, which you guys always ask me about, <laughs> the frames from Chanel. But I did purchase recently the one from Dior. And let me just show you. So obviously I don't have my um, lenses yet. <laughs> these are just the frames, which I purchased, but I love these. Again, very classic style for me. I feel like I look good with the rectangular kind of, you know, shape glasses and this is all from Dior it says Christian Dior there's a little star and you know these are like turtle shell they're kind of white inside so it's kind of fun I feel like it's a little bit you know different this is how they look on me I think they're pretty decent obviously I, I need lenses <laughs> so I hate this Dior case, the, you know, the sunglasses, prescription glasses come with, I was really hoping that they're gonna include like a better case for, you know, prescription glasses, but no, it's still the same. It's one of those, if you're familiar with those cases, it's one of those that you can kind of fold it down. Let me just show you. You just move both sides and you can kind of fold it flat. Do you see this? Um, yes, it's kind of cool. It's obviously all leather case, but, it's not very long lasting because I have so many Dior sunglasses and trust me, I've destroyed these um, cases very, very quick. And it's not like I'm trying to destroy them. They just, I don't know, they just unglue the whole thing and I, I just don't like it. So I just thought these will go very nicely inside in here. I don't know how to put them. I guess this way would be fine. Anyway, probably would be fine because this is all microfiber. So let me just close it. There we go. So I thought this would be a little bit better option because normally I would use this obviously for the sunglasses, but since I need a new prescription glasses, that's what I'm going to use because I hate those Dior. Let me put it the other way. Maybe it's this way. It's better. I just hate those Dior, um, you know, the, the cases. They are just horrible. So anyway, yeah. So this is my new Louis Vuitton Woody sunglass case all right the last items you guys this is again something that i didn't think i needed well i honestly i don't need it but when i saw it i had to get it only because i feel like those monogram pieces monogram items are just so limited right now that i feel like I don't think they're discontinued them. I just think it's just general shortage of everything all over the place and it's just so hard to get it. So I can always have some good use out of this item. So it came in the slightly bigger box and obviously it sits in the dust bag. And let me show you what I've got. <laughs> so this is... Yes, this is the monogram cosmetic case. It's it is in a size PM. I am looking to buy the one in the size GM. I am really after it. 
but it seems like again it's impossible to get it this way so this is a typical you know monogram um, cosmetic pouch it's it, you know it's great for keeping in your handbags or just in your home you know for your makeup or little cosmetic things that you have it's obviously you know it's very classic it's lined with uh, very wipeable kind of man-made material there is a little space in here for something uh, I do have um, a code in here if you, in case you're looking for and obviously comes with the you know with a little uh, card and this one is made in France as well so it says inside is made in France so you know it's a very simple cosmetic case I used to have the one that is multi multi colors that's what it was called multi color and it was all black with those you know colorful um lvs and i end up selling it and uh, i do not regret it um i was literally scared to use it because of those beautiful color colorful prints i just didn't want to ruin it so i end up selling it and uh yeah it's been years and years and years since i sold it so i finally replaced it with just a plain monogram which i feel more secure and safe about and this is the first i think item from louis vuitton that doesn't have it says made in france you guys but it doesn't have any i think coat so this is the one that has this something <laughs> you know um yes because this is like a very recent purchase and i was looking there's no like date stamp or anything like that because it's one of those newest you know releases so obviously they have something um building the i guess the item itself um i don't know i didn't really do much research about that but yeah so this is my last louis vuitton item that i want to show with you i think it's so cute um so yeah i'm looking forward to use it all right guys so that's it for today thank you so much for watching let me know what you um what do you think about those purchases <laughs> i'm gonna do my best to link everything down in the description box uh like i said including my makeup and uh, i've been really really enjoying that hourglass palette look at this beauty this is so amazing i will this powder oh it's like all over your face it's so beautiful so i'm gonna link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out and uh this is the christmas one of those christmas um releases from hourglass i'm sure there's gonna be more because we are just starting sephora just starts to have those you know um christmas kind of editions of makeup and skincare so anyway all right guys don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon Bye.